Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is part 2. Since we already know the tips and tricks for the makeup, let's proceed with our hair. Without further ado, let's go! Oops, but before that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's go! crowning glory so let's go and keep that hair well groomed and on point so the first thing that you have to do is to try to comb your hair away from all those tangles all right now first step is you have to place your hair in a ponytail so let's start to grab all the hair behind so as much as possible you have to really um, keep your hair backwards Go. So the, the oil that we applied help us make this easier because it will just slide like this. And for your ponytail, you don't want to put it too high nor too low. So you have to make sure, to measure if it's the right height, you have to put your hands in your ears and this. So this one is a little bit high, so I need to drag it a little bit low. So there you go. So this one is now the perfect place to put my hair in a ponytail. But for, before that, I need to secure that all the hair is going to the back. As much as possible, you have to really take the hair behind. Now I'll just carefully brush it towards the back. It needs patience if you want it to be on point. You have to be very patient with your hair. There you have it. It's already in a ponytail. Then again, you have to fix this. And since you can see I have a lot of baby hair, what I usually do is add, just add a little bit more of the oil and just bring all those baby hair towards the back. There you go. Now I have a beautiful ponytail. Next up is we have to use the donut. For the donut, it's easy, it's simple. Just have to put this hair here. Take this hair and pull it like that. And you have to divide your hair. I'll show you. Divide your hair and scatter it around the donut. There you go. You'll need to grab the next hairband and tuck this hair in. Now it's clean and neat. <laughs> we have this much hair left, right? Okay. So we have this much hair left. So what we do with the hair is you can either braid it, and after braiding it, you can twist it, or you can just simply twist it. This is what I'm going to do. Twist the hair, twist the remaining hair, and you will just have to twist it around the donut. And just there you go. To secure, we need the last hairband. There you have it. It is now secured, but it doesn't look neat. So for us to be able to make it neat, we have to use our hair net. So just put your hair, there you go, twist it and put it again inside. There you go, and twist it. You can secure your baby hair with a bobby pin as well. Make sure that you use a bobby pin that is the same color of your hair. If you have a black hair, then use the black bobby pin. And if you have a light blonde hair, then you can use the brown bobby pins. And we have to use the scrunchie to make it more beautiful. Just arrange the scrunchie. There you go. And lastly, you have to fix again, since I have a lot of baby hair. Yes, I have to fix it. And now, the fun spray, hairspray on our hair. 
and advice is don't spray it close to your hair spray it from afar so it won't damage your hair much so this is only uh, one way of putting your hair in a bun but if you are not comfortable of doing it this way there is also another way of putting it in the bun so let me show you so this hairstyle would be in a bun as well but instead of pulling all the hair behind we will have to make a separation the hairline separation there we go in order to achieve a uh, beautiful hairline bun i call it uh you have to make sure that you have a straight hairline cut it wouldn't be necessary to be perfect in your first try but eventually you will be able to get it so like that now we have to slowly put the rest of the hair behind i mean like just tuck it in like this and from here, we have to make a ponytail. But this one takes a lot more of patience and it requires a little bit more of practice and getting used to it. So even for me, my, for myself, uh, I would sometimes have find it hard to do this because sometimes you'll end up putting your putting your ponytail very low and which uh, won't be that nice. So again, we still have to follow the ear level of the ponytail. So as you can see, this part is going up. So yeah, my advice for you is just to keep practicing it. Don't practice uh, when the hiring is almost there around the corner, but I would advise you on your free time, do it. Practice on your hair, practice on your makeup. And uh, once you're already used to it, it's gonna be a little bit easier. There you go, it's all neat and clean. Now we have to put our hair in a ponytail. Make sure that you put your hair in a ponytail and uh, uh, it's very sealed, like it's tight. It in a ponytail not too low not too high and then again we have to put our donut same procedure you could either braid it or twist it as well So for me, this one is the one that I constantly use on my flight. And this is also how I placed my hair in a bun when I went for my open day. So again, the hairnet. Twist and then pull it again. Twist. And of course, our scrunchie. So it's all neat and you just have to let all the standingness <laughs> stay in place as much as you could let them stay still and your hairspray. Of course, uh, I don't advise to wear hairspray most of the time but for the open day, you really have it. You re I mean, you really need to have it because it will make your hair stay still. So for now, since I'm just making this video at home, I don't need to put it, <laughs> the hairspray. So there you go. We have our makeup done, our hair done. So the next step will be uh, which accessories you will be having for that day. So I advise you to at least have some earrings that is a stud or uh, what most of the airlines really use would be some pearl earrings. <laughs> some pearl earrings. So I will use a pearl earrings. Please don't use a pearl earring that is very big, like um, it's uh, bigger than this part of your ears. So just use the medium one. Medium size would be very perfect. Uh, don't also use the smallest one that you could get. So you don't want to have a uh, too big or too small. There you go. So now you look gorgeous. So also I advise you if you go for an open day, uh, you can minimize all the je jewelry that you'll be wearing. Uh, as of now I'm wearing this. Uh, if I would to go for an open day, I would remove my necklace. I don't want to have um, too much accessories with me. But what I could advise for you to have is the earrings of course and also you could have watch may it be gold may it be classic brown or black or may it be silver so you can choose uh, one which you prefer if you have a ring one ring or two ring would be fine as long as it's not very uh very big that it should be fine i already shared with you some tips and tricks for the makeup in part one uh, i will be link in the description down below and for this part too i already shared with you some tips and tricks for the grooming of the hair 
I hope you learned something about this video again, but this doesn't end here. There will be part three, so please click the notification bell so that you will be notified for more videos. Thank you for watching and see you again on my next video. Bye!